Hey YouTube, this is a video on how to make a custom firmware for your PSP. This works for PSP 1000, 2000, and even 3000, which is what I have. Now the reason to do this is so that you can play games and, and movies off your memory stick. You can also customize and modify pretty much everything on your PSP. And you can put programs and different stuff on there, which you wouldn't be able to do if you don't have custom firmware. Now this only works if your software version is 3.5, no, 5.03 5 or below. To check that, all you have to do, if you're on your PSP, go into system, go into like settings, system settings, and then system information. Uh, it'll say system software and version 5.03 or below. Anything below that will work and 5.03 will work. Anything above that will not work. So if you have anything above that, just get out of this video because you're wasting time. Okay. So what you need to do is download the three, three things in your video description, which is down there three things okay chicken custom firmware enabler and PSP idents after you download that plug in your PSP into that computer and then open it so oh first you want to go inside a USB connection okay so I got that okay then you want to open it and then you want to go inside your your uh, your pictures there it is and you want to add chicken into here so you all have to do is extract the chicken on your desktop and then take it open it up and click sorry click slim or fat whichever one you have if you have PSP 2000 3000 you want to open up slim or if you have PSP 1000 you want to open up fat all I have to do is take so mine is slim right so you want to open slim and drag and drop the chicken into your pictures right here I already have it so I'm not going to do that after that you want to go inside PSP open that up and then open up game okay and you want to add in here you want to add the custom firmware enabler and the PSP ident okay so you just take open up that extract it and everything open it up and drag and drop the, the custom firmware enabler into game and also the other one same thing with the PSP ident after you do that you want to Exit USB mode. And first, what you want to do is go inside your photos, okay? And you'll see chicken right there. See chicken? Right there. You want to open up chicken. And want to go all the way to the bottom, okay? Now, a green screen should pop up. If it doesn't, it's okay. So mine didn't pop up. It'll just freeze and it'll turn off your PSP and you'll have to turn it back on and just do it again, okay? It's okay if it happens. If it keeps happening, just do it over and over and over again till it works, okay? Really simple. So I, mine didn't work, so I want to turn on my PSP again. Okay, I'm gonna go back inside photo, open up chicken again, scroll down to the bottom, and see if it works this time. See, the green screen popped up, and it'll turn on by itself. Okay, so after your PSP rebooted, you wanna go inside uh, game, or memory stick, and 
scroll down, we should only have two right now. If we go and start PSV ident 0 0.4, we want to click that. And it should start doing all this logging stuff, and it will create an image thing. So, okay, and then it will say when it's done, it will say press X to exit. Right there. Is it right there. Press X to exit. You just press X. go back here now after you go here you just want to go in inside menu stick again and this time scroll all the way to the bottom and go in and do CFW enabling 3.70 click that and it should just do the PSV game boot thing and then it will go back to your uh, PSV homepage thing whatever you call that there you go now you just want to check go ahead and check system settings and uh, system information now it'll have 5.03 MHU this is the custom firmware alright now to pr now to prove this works alright I added some games on here so let me just fix it I have Manhunt 2 uh, Silent Hill Grand Theft Auto, Pro Evolution Soccer 2010, and it even works. Look, I'll open it up. So let's see which one. Grand Theft Auto. Watch. And I'm using Memory Stick. Okay. I'm gonna wait till it boots. And I'm gonna prove to you that there's no human being there. Okay. In case you don't believe me. This loads. See, it's loading. Where is it? Uh, there. Oops. Grand Theft Auto. Liberty City Stories. Can't really see that too well. See, it's loading. I already had a game on here. I have saved data. It's already been playing it for a while. Alright, see? Everything works. Oh, there's the tall. Here it is. Everything works, see? Moving. Okay, I'm going to prove I don't have game in here. And look. See? There's nothing in there. See? And it's still playing. Oh, sit down. And I'm still moving. All playing from the memory stick. See, see memory stick in there, little blue card. All playing from the memory stick. Okay, just gonna exit out of here. All right, and so that is how to make a custom firmware software, whatever you call it, for your PSV. And I have PSV 3000. That's my model. So it works for PSV 3000. Alright, so comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.